Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. This is our first video in a tutorial series on the new Phantom 4 RTK, which is DJI's new drone system specific for surveying and high precision aerial mapping. It comes in a combo with the Phantom 4 RTK as well as a DRTK2 mobile base station and a tripod to support that mobile base station. So what we're gonna do in this video is just walk you through what's in the box and then we'll be putting those items into our survey pro package so you have an idea of what accessories come with that um, to be able to, to successfully utilize the RTK out in the field. So let's start with the drone. So similar to the Phantom 4 Pro, you're gonna get this foam case. If you're just ordering the Phantom 4 RTK combo by itself without the Survey Pro package, you'll get this foam case. Here we got everything. It all fits inside this case. Um, you're gonna be able to carry uh, just a couple extra batteries. Um, so we'll start by taking out the drone here. Just a couple notes on this. You'll notice the top of the drone here is different. This is the RTK uh, system here that's connecting to either a mobile base station or a network RTK and it needs that module in order to communicate with those services. And so on the bottom here, you'll also have a gimbal lock. So you wanna make sure that you take that off before flight. Another thing you wanna make sure that you have removed on the back here is a foam clip, and that holds everything in place during transport. So make sure you hold on to these things um, so that when you're transporting the drone around, you have the ability to lock the gimbal and keep it nice and secure during transport. So that's very important. So we got the drone. Another big item here is the new remote controller. You can see this looks a little bit different than your standard Phantom 4 Pro series. Um, you have a built-in screen, so this is the same screen that they would use with the Plus model, so Phantom 4 Pro Plus has a built-in screen. Um, same screen, but it has new apps on it specifically for the RTK system. So there's an RTK app that you're able to actually plan everything as long as you have access to Wi-Fi, hotspot, or actually utilizing a 4G dongle on the bottom of the controller. You can um, take this off here and on the inside you could plug in a 4G SIM card and now utilize this system just as you would any uh, iPad or tablet. And I really like that they did this because beyond just having the ability to be able to connect to the internet and plan and fly missions um, from this device here, it also is dedicated to the drone. And so it's pulling the battery off of the remote controller here. Um, and so you don't have to worry about charging the tablet beforehand and having it and making sure that it's in the kit with you at all times. This just comes with the drone. Um, so that's really nice. I like that they did that. If you see the screen as too small or limited size wise, um, you always have the ability to, to plan a mission in DJI's ground station app on a PC and then upload that to the drone. So that's always an option as well. You're not just limited to the screen. Another great feature that they added here was interchangeable batteries. So you can see if I pull this tab and open it up, this utilizes, um, I could actually pull it from the case here, the WB37 batteries. These are used in Crystal Sky monitors um, as well as now the remote controllers. So this just pops in here and slides up. And now you have the ability to interchange those during the day. So you're not gonna run out of battery power as long as you have enough um, batteries. And then the last thing I noticed here on the controller is you now have rubber seals around the control sticks and that um, keeps the debris out. So especially in dusty conditions, if we're talking about construction sites, places where you would be surveying, they really built this controller um, to, to fit that environment. So done a pretty good job on that. What else? We have uh, our charging system. So this is gonna be the charging hub. And I'll plug into the back here using the charger, which I'll bring that out here as well. So you got your power supply, the cable that goes into both the drone battery and the charging hub here. So that fits in there. And then on the top of the case here is gonna be your AC power cable. So that plugs into there and you're all set for charging. So we got the charging hub and the, the actual power supply charger itself. Looks like some propeller sets here. And these are two full sets, so you're getting four sets, or four uh, propellers in each 
package. So that's going to be a full set and an extra. And then right underneath where the drone sits, pull these tabs up. And there is space for four batteries. So you, it comes with two in this kit. On the right hand side of the case, we have all our documentation. So this is going to be the uh, manual, it's quick start guide, um, in the box diagrams and everything will be in there. Right next to that is the battery charging hub. So similar to the controller charging hub is we have a battery charging hub and this is a sequence charger. So you plug this into the power supply here and now you have the ability to just set the batteries in and those will charge one by one. So it's going to be one at a time. Once uh, the first battery is finished, it'll move on to the next one. That does mean that you're going to have longer charge times. And so we've developed a solution or we have a, we have a, a multi-charger that's parallel charger for the Survey Pro package, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes here. I think you have an OTG cable here. And it's really just uh, an adapter. So you can take the full size USB to go to USB-C utilizing the two cables on the top here. So this is a full-size USB to USB-C, just single cable. And this is a full-size USB to micro. So you would have the ability to either take the micro to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C on, on using this OTG cable. All right, so this is everything that is in the foam box here. So that's everything that covers the drone side of things. Now we'll jump into um, unboxing. We can we could start with the tripod. So this is the second box that you'll get. Open this up. And there is a foam top here. You want to slide out. Take these two off. All right. So this is going to be the tripod that holds the mobile base station um, in place. So if you're not using it as a, as a rover, it's actually just using the, the actual base station. Um, you'll slide that into here. And we'll cover how to set that up in uh, the next video. So uh, go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how to set it up. A couple of just key features here. Um, so we have these tabs, you unscrew them, allows us to extend out, and then you could just lock it by closing that up. And they've got a nice little strap here. So this strap will unhook and then that, so that when you're transporting it around, you could just carry it. Instead of having to carry it like this, you could just carry it with the strap. So really nice and light. I think they used a, a pretty light aluminum or something. Um, so it's, it's very light, but also still pretty sturdy. Um, on the top here, this is where you'll secure it down um, to, to tighten up on the mobile base station. And then you have a leveler on top as well. So there's the tripod. And here we have the mobile base station. And as soon as we open this up, you'll, you'll see the manual here. Um, and then we'll use this as a reference in this video, just to make sure that we're covering everything. Take the, uh, the top foam piece off here. So we have the DRTK2 here. And this is what's actually connecting to the Phantom 4 RTK, um, utilizing the device here. On the bottom, this is going to be where you can connect a 4G um, SIM card, is on the top there. And then this is where the battery goes into. So you'll pull that down, and that's where the battery goes here. So we got some extra hardware attachments and cable attachments, such as uh, external power uh, port. So you can actually plug in uh, power into this um, from an, an external battery source so you don't have to keep switching out um, the smaller batteries here. Um, so they've really, they've built in extra ports to be able to uh, future-proof it. 
um, as the technology develops, um, you'll be able to use this device for more than just um, the Phantom 4 RTK. So for now, um, we're just gonna look at setting it up for the RTK. Um, so we have the extension rod here. You'll pull the long foam tab here out of the way. Then we got our extension rod. And so this just slides in here. We'll twist that down. All right, so this is your full setup, and then this will just slide into the tripod to be able to connect to the RTK as a base station. So there's that. Um, we have a mobile device holder here. So it's just spring-loaded. That'll connect to your phone, as well as a charging hub. So this is the same charging hub that um, the Phantom 4 drone kit comes with, and this is to charge those uh, the smaller black batteries. Um, those will work with the base station, like we talked about. Obviously, the batteries for that. Uh, the base station comes with two. So in the total combo, you get um, three of these batteries. So this will be number two and number three. So between the drone and the base station, you're getting three of these. So you'll be able to switch between the remote, uh, the base station. There's the other two here. Obviously, we need a charger for those batteries. So we'll pull this up here. So this is the uh, power supply. And this is dedicated to the, the charging hub there. Um, the other power supply that we have will also plug into a Phantom 4 uh, battery, but this is just dedicated to the, the smaller ones here. And then obviously the power cable for that charging, or for the power supply. And this is where I was saying there's a, there's a lot of small components. I'll just empty this out here. I can actually move this off the table so you can see everything. And we have the uh, full-size USB to USB-C. Yep, it's this cable here. You have another one of these OTG cables, so full-size USB to USB-C. Um, this is a female to a male USB-C, so you can plug this in and have USB-C on both ends. A uh, hex key right there. You got a battery strap. So this will actually go to the, the bottom of the tripod. Um, you can hook that up to carry external uh, power supply. So uh, you can connect the power to the mobile base station. Like I said, um, and this is a strap just to hold that onto the tripod there. And then we have what they call a clasp. It's like a carabiner in order to connect that battery to the strap, or sometimes you would uh, connect a weight to the tripod to make sure everything is, stays in place. And then last but not least, we have the XT90 uh, shorting plug. I'm actually not familiar with where this connects on the system yet, um, but I believe it's part of the MG series, which is a different drone model that also connects to the new base station. So um, exciting stuff there as well. That's everything. So we have, uh, this is everything that comes in the Phantom 4 RTK combo. Now we're going to transition into packing up our Survey Pro package.